Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show you how to install Cyberlab CRT Royale Death to Pixels Shader Preset Pack. Cyberlab has created a new shader preset pack. The installation process for this new pack is very simple. All you need to do is go to Cyberlab Systems GitHub page, which I've linked in the description below. And then once you're there, click on this releases button and then scroll down until you find the latest version and then click it to download. On the left hand side I've got the Cyberlab zip file that I've just downloaded and on the right hand side I've got my RetroArch installation folder. So firstly extract the contents of the zip file and then open the folder and then open the RetroArch folder and then within here you should have a filters folder and a shaders folder and all you need to do is drag and drop them into your RetroArch directory and move here. That's the installation complete. Now I'm going to show you how to configure it. First step is to open RetroArch. Go to settings, go to video, and then go to scaling. And now we want to make sure integer scale is off. Go down to aspect ratio, and we want to select four by three. And then go down to crop overscan, and then make sure this is switched on. Once you've done that, you need to close RetroArch and open it up again. One other thing I suggest before you load up a game in RetroArch is go to settings, drivers, and video. I generally have the best luck with Vulkan. If you're having difficulty getting Vulkan to work, I have a video linked in the description which may help you. Now continue and load up a game in RetroArch. And once you've loaded your game, press F1 to go to the quick menu, go down to shaders, go to load, and there we have it. You should see all of these Cyberlab CRT Royale Death to Pixels shader presets here. And as I've got a Sega Mega Drive game loaded up, or if you're in America, the Sega Genesis, I'm gonna go down to Cyberlab CRT Royale 4K Turbo Duo Genesis, and I'll select this one. Once it's loaded, press F1 to return to your game. And there we have it. We have the CRT shader preset loaded. Now there is one other secret weapon that Cyberlab uses in this new preset pack and I'm going to show you what it is. So if you press F1, go back to load and you see the preset that I selected says Cyberlab CRT Royale 4K Turbo Geo Genesis and then at the end it says Cyberlab Blog NTSC Filter Recommended. So this is recommending that we combine this particular shader preset with Cyberlab's Blog NTSC Filter and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you go back to the main menu in RetroArch, go to Settings, go to Video and scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Video Filter and open it. And here you'll see a number of video filters. Now just be careful that not every core in RetroArch supports video filters. So there may be instances where a video filter may not load for you. Now at the top here, there are three Blog NTSC Genesis filters. There's one for composite, one for RF, and one for S-Video. In this video, I'm going to select RF because that was the cable I used to use when I used to play my Sega Mega Drive back in the day. So I'll select that and once it's loaded, press F1 to go back to your game. And there we go, look at that transformation. Suddenly that waterfall in the background is entirely transparent. Now this is one of the things that makes this preset pack from Cyberlab so special. Here's a side by side of no shader preset, shader preset, and then shader preset with video filter. Let me know what you think. Now feel free to experiment with different combinations of shader presets and video filters. If you do find a particular shader preset that works well for a particular core, it is possible to make that shader preset automatically load up every time you load a game for a particular core. If you'd like to know how to do that, I've left a video link in the description below. I hope you enjoy Cyberlab CRT Royale Death to Pixels shader preset pack as much as I did. Here's a quick showcase of what you can expect. Mm -hmm. 